Hi, I'm Kazmir, a former Green School student and a current Ethics and Politics major at Bard College in Sciences Po. Although I cannot speak for an entire generation tonight, I do hope to offer some perspective from the one in a billion who stands to deal with the consequences of human-induced climate change. In 2000, the atmospheric chemist Paul Crutzen described the current geological epoch as dominated by human influence and named it the Anthropocene. Now, geologists only formally adopted the term 16 years later, and today, denial and resistance to the facts are still prevalent. We must, therefore, facilitate a deeper cultural understanding of our relationship with the planet. Travelling by foot first gave our ancestors a connection to the land, when the human species migrated step by step at a time in the pursuit of the flora and fauna that sustained us. And then we leapt and started ferrying the seas, and created our connection to the waters. These journeys, though, would also mark the planet with any paths of our longings. What Earth 300 proposes, very convincingly and remarkably, is to conjugate the biosphere and the technosphere in addressing the political and philosophical problems of human-induced climate change practically. The language Earth 300 invokes to do so is no less inspiring. Global systems thinking and the empowerment of scientists do not only conduct, conduct progressive interdisciplinary research in a collaborative environment, but also to fundamentally share their discoveries on an open source platform in real time. This is extremely important if we are to preserve our species and restore our impact on the Earth systems. As Wangari Matai succinctly put it, recognizing that sustainable development, democracy and peace are indivisible is an idea whose time has come. We are singular in that we are creatures of choice. And so it really is up to us to decide what meaningful and mindful actions we should take. In a world with rising sea levels, Earth 300 invites us to rise as well. And I admire you for that and thank you for the passionate call to action. My name is Dominique Rosolo and I'm a research scientist at the Qualcomm Institute at the University of California, San Diego. I have worked with a number of agencies and organizations to coordinate and conduct oceanographic surveys around the world. And I serve on the Ocean Exploration Advisory Board of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. Here in our immersive visualization labs on campus, we work with scientists to analyze marine environments via multimodal and multiscalar digital twins, like this dense point cloud of a coral reef. Here we can observe, detect, annotate, and model in ways that have led to new insights and breakthroughs in the world of marine ecology. We don't shy away from big and bold ideas, particularly when they involve experience and understanding our planet in big and bold new ways. When I first met Aaron here in our lab in 2016, we were both getting started on our new adventures, and we've been building momentum together ever since. For me, Earth 300 represents a departure from looking at our planet and ourselves from a familiar perspective. Indeed, familiar ways of seeing the world have left so much invisible to our hearts and to our minds. Fiat Lux, Earth 300, let there be light. Good day. I am Matteo Atti, the Global Head of Marketing and Innovation at VistaJet. It's a bit rainy here in London, but it's a great day for the world as we celebrate the launch of Earth 300. The aviation industry is maybe not the first that comes to mind when you think about solving climate change. Every area of human activity has an impact on the environment. And as a tool for business development and private travel, business jets contribute 0.04% to global emissions. Nonetheless, as the largest group in private aviation, we want VisaJet to be an agent for innovation. Although we might have to wait years for electric and hydrogen jet engines to be available, we are working to see change now. We are welcoming the newest, most sustainable aircraft to our fleet to maximize efficiency. 90% of our clients compensate their fuel carbon emissions with South Pole, climate change pioneers. We provide worldwide access to sustainable aviation fuels through Sky Energy, a solution that can reduce emissions by up to 80%. And investing in AI, our predictive algorithms are optimizing flight routes and fleet management. 
to directly reduce fuel consumption by 8%. Finally, as an official EBAA sustainability ambassador, we pushed other major players to follow our lead while we wait for regulators to take even stronger action. So why VistaJet and Earth 300? Like all of you here today, the moment we met the founder, we knew this project had an incredible potential. As we learned about the vision and heard about every detailed component of it, it became obvious that Earth 300 could be the most compelling, ambitious and unique opportunity to power up science, securing its place at the center of the future for all humanity. We have no doubt Earth 300 can produce transformative science on a global scale. We are here to support Earth 300 by involving the world leaders flying with Visaget to adopt a sustainable mindset and invest in transformative projects to benefit our global community. They say business cannot wait, but business needs the world. We believe in change and Visaget believes in Earth 300. Have a good day. Hi, my name is Nick. I'm the founder and managing partner at Spin Ventures. I've always been inspired by the concept of upcycling, where someone sees waste, someone sees the opportunity to create value. We are on a mission to accelerate the transition towards a circular economy. We have invested um, into a group of companies that can help us and accelerate that transition from uh, the collections of plastic and other materials to the transformation, the design and the manufacturing of beautiful products. We have set up Waste or Wonder with a mission to take all of the waste from music and sport events and turn them into products. When we met Her 300 team, we were immediately impressed by their mission and their desire for action. Aaron and the team challenged us to transform the world's plastic waste into beautiful products, interiors, furniture, and the piping of the boat itself, all while saving tons of plastic from the landfills and the oceans. The first project we're going to work on together is to transform all of Singapore's school waste into products. It's not waste. It's an opportunity to create wonder. Thank you.